dearly beloved. We thank God for another glorious day that the Lord has made. We rejoice and we are so much happy and uh, very glad in His presence. What a mighty God that we serve. Let us continue to trust in Him, our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, who will never put us to shame. Remember one thing for sure, that whatever that we do on this earth, we must also have faith in the Lord Jesus and all will come to pass because our God never failed. He is ever faithful. Na waka wo Yesu Kristo dimu ni edoba no dimu ni tuno beya mao. Miyafu ya nini tuno so. Yenye jidi ulu. Yenko nyami asam. Psalm 40. I wait patiently for the Lord. And he inclined to me. And heard my cry. He also brought me out of a horrible pit. Out of the mary clay. And set my feet upon a rock. And established my steps. Praise the Lord. You see, I did told you that. The word of God says that those who put their trust on the Lord, faithful is he who have called us, for the Lord will not put us to shame. David, as I have been speaking about him to you, is a man who has gone through all kinds of challenges in life, all kinds of pains. He's a man who has tried and tested God and found him to be truthful. Just as when we have faith in him, we will also see. So David said, I waited patiently for the Lord. And he inclined to me. This morning, I want you to know that all that you have to be is to be patient with the Lord. Have you prayed to God? You will surely have an answer. Have you cried to God concerning something? You will surely have an answer. Because David said, after I have waited patiently before him, he answered me. And uh, whatever that I have cried to him, he heard me and took me out of a horrible pit. This morning, whatever life seems to have put you in that horrible pit, remember your cry have descended unto the Most High God. And just wait patiently, your time is now. He will surely pick you up from that horrible pit. And one thing that I thank God is that he said after that, he put him out of the mary clay and put him on a place to stay. The Lord will not leave you in that your sorrows. The Lord will not leave you in that your challenges. The Lord will not leave you in that your pain. The Lord will not leave you in that that is worrying you. That has been like a horrible pit. That has been like a Mary Clay. He will surely, this morning, I assure you by faith, He will surely take you out of the pit. And also take you out of that Mary Clay and put you upon a place where you will rejoice and be glad in him. One thing that I want you to know is that the success, the blessing, the victory of the children of God is the happiness of our God. And so he always be glad when he see us overcoming. Wait patiently before him. David said, I incline my ears unto him. And he also heard my cry. David is saying, free and pay when you uncoop on a bemoyan queen, which is an answer or sorrow and yaji. Now, when you be a main stroke, Cosora for any two or so string uncoop on home, send your David the Kaya and or send me to me, boy, sick and ruddy, not a ruddy tea me for your soul, so. And a pay in your uncoop on tea or what you are so string uncoop on tea, until you are near where Montio or Ham. May God listen to you, may God answer your prayers, may God wipe away your cry, and may God keep you out of that horrible pit or that mary clay. And may he wash you with his victory. In the name of Jesus Christ, shall we pray. Father, 
we pray and we believe and trust just as David trusts. And we know our time to be delivered is now. May that happen to a brother or a sister. May that happen to somebody who has cried unto you. May that happen to somebody who is in the horrible pit because the time of deliverance is now. We thank you that this is done to your glory in Jesus' name. Amen.